Passage 3. Listen to part of a talk in a history class. The Gold Mining Towns and the Characters. Does anyone know what happened in 1848 that caused the West to become populated very quickly? No? Oh, there are lots of interesting stories that are told about the gold mining towns and the characters who lived in them. Have any of you heard of James Marshall? Not the Supreme Court Justice, John Marshall. This is James Marshall. Still no ideas? Okay, let me tell you about James Marshall's discovery. James Marshall was a worker living in the California area. He was there to build a water powered sawmill on property owned by John Sutter. Okay, now I see some of you who think you might know. Well, Marshall found some bits of gold in a mill race on Sutter's property. Those little flakes of gold that he found in Sutter's stream near Sacramento caused an uproar all over the country and even as far as Europe. He discovered the gold in 1848. And the two men, Marshall and Sutter, tried to keep the discovery a secret. But you know how secrets are hard to keep. Well, so as soon as the news of gold being found at Sutter's Creek got out, people began pouring into California in droves. And the gold rush had begun. People living in California rushed to Sutter's Mill, and by 1849, people from all over the country began heading for California. Did they all go by wagon train, like a lot of the other settlers? Yes, that was one of the ways. But they also went by ship. And that took a long time, too. I think I remember reading that ships had to go around the tip of South America to reach California. Of course, that was before the Panama Canal was built. You're right, but they also traveled to Veracruz, which was a busy port in Mexico. And then they got off the ship, traveled over land, and headed northwest up to California. And some really brave souls sailed to the isthmus of Panama, left the ship, and headed to California from there. Well, once all these gold seekers got to California, what was it like? These gold seekers were called prospectors and 49ers because news had not gotten back east until 1849, and most people began their trip west in 1849 as well. These 49ers descended upon California by the tens of thousands. Nothing like this had ever happened before in our history. Towns sprang up everywhere overnight tents, saloons, wagons. Dirt streets, gunfights, and street fighting. Tall tales of gold in the hills, all part of the gold rush towns. Did a lot of people become really wealthy? Some did, of course, but most did not. And within about five years, most of the gold was gone. Oh, there are lots of interesting stories that are told about the gold mining towns and the characters who lived in them. One fellow, who didn't get rich by finding gold, made lots of money fixing wagons. I'm sure you have all heard about Studebaker automobiles. Well, a young man named John Studebaker had gone west to seek his fortune. But when he got there, he saw all the wagons that were broken down and needing repair. The wagons were those which people had come west in, and the wagons and wheelbarrows that the 49ers were using to mine gold. Well, Johnny Studebaker had come back from east, and his family had been in the wagon business. They had made some of the Conestoga wagons people used coming west. And he knew all about how they were made. He also knew how to fix them. He started fixing wagons and became known as Wheelbarrow Johnny. And he earned a lot of money because he had a skill that others didn't. And with all of his earnings, he moved back to where his family was starting a new wagon factory in South Bend, Indiana. And he invested his much needed money into the new company, which later developed into the famous Studebaker Automobile Company. So, when you ask if people got rich, the answer is, Yes, they did, but not all of them got rich mining for gold. Now get ready to answer the questions. You may use your notes to help you answer. Number 12. What is the talk mainly about? Number 13. Why does the professor mention James Marshall? Number 14. What does the professor say about the people who went to California? Number 15. According to the professor, of what significance was John Studebaker? Number 
What does the professor say about the people who travel to California by ship? Listen again to part of the talk, then answer the question. Does anyone know what happened in 1848 that caused the West to become populated very quickly? No? Oh, there are lots of interesting stories that are told about the gold mining towns and the characters who lived in them. Number 17. Why does the professor say this? Oh, there are lots of interesting stories.